Large police presence back at the scene of an officer involved shooting in Dorchester this afternoon as family members of the 19 year old victim demanded answers. Police say they shot and killed the teen after he first fired at them. WBZ's Anaritis Rodriguez is live in Dorchester tonight with more. Anaritis? Paula, police say that that chase began at a nearby park after reports of a shooting, and it ended here on Penn Hollow Street when officers say they noticed that suspect had a gun that he would not drop. Many witnesses we spoke to say officers really did hesitate in firing their weapons. And he was yelling, drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. But the other guy just kept firing. It was from her mother's bedroom window that Bacola says she saw the shootout between Boston police and a 19-year-old man. He did shoot him in the leg, but I think because the guy was um, firing, so that's a whole safety issue. Earlier today, the family of the teenager killed confronted officers working the scene. Commissioner William Gross says on Monday afternoon, two members of the Dorchester Bicycle Unit set off on a chase after seeing two suspects flee the scene of a reported shooting in Town Field. One suspect got away. The other led the pair to Penn Hollow Street. Once on Penn Hollow, the officers observed that individual to be wielding a firearm. The officers issued forth several verbal commands for the suspect to drop the firearm. The suspect fired and discharged his weapon at the officers, at which time the officers returned fire and striking the suspect. The identity of the teenager has not been released, and police did not say how many shots were fired by the suspect or the officers. They do say the officers involved in the shooting were not wearing body cameras, but officers assisting nearby were. This neighborhood, I've been here just 10 years. 100 year old Kathleen Wilson witnessed the aftermath and says neighbors are shocked because this pocket of Dorchester is quiet. We've never even conceived of having anything like this. The two officers involved in the shooting were not injured and taken to a local hospital for observation. They'll be placed on administrative leave. We're live in Dorchester tonight. I'm Anaritis Rodriguez, WBZ News. Anaritis, thank you.